Hey guys, what's up? In this video, what I'm doing is I'm cold calling dealers with some live sales calls. You don't want to miss this. If you're a sales pro or you're an automotive dealer, manager, GSM, or general manager, you don't want to miss these calls. Yeah, I was going to see if I could check on the availability of a vehicle. Um, I'm seeing it here on your website. 2016 Ford Fusion, white one. I was just gonna see if it's still available. Um, you want the start number? It's GR215848. Now listen guys, I'm gonna hit this guy with an objection here in just a minute. Obviously, he's already picked up the phone. He hasn't asked me my name. Um, yeah, well, number one, so it is still available? Yes, sir. Okay, awesome. And um, let me ask you, where are you located? He never asked my name. He didn't ask me how my name was going or anything like that. Now watch. Okay, I appreciate it, man. I didn't realize you were so far. I'm actually a couple hours away from you. I'm just going to look for one more local. Okay, okay. I mean, it, it may be worth your time. You know, you may save a bit of time, you know, dealing with us. You know, when we don't have any ads and then things like that, we tend to be a little bit easier to work with. Well, I appreciate you. If I don't find one local, I'll definitely give you a call back. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, listen, I'm going to say this real fast, all right? And by the way, I'm not making up a difficult phone call. This is pretty simple. Guy calls. I said, hey, I was calling about the 2018 Ford Fusion I saw on the internet. Guy's like, hey, I got it, right? Never asked me my name. He said, okay, hold on, let me look it up. And I said, would it be better if I gave you the stock number? He said, sure. I gave it to him. He said, yeah, we still got it. What time can you make it? Boom, went straight for the appointment. You wonder why you're getting fake appointments? Because nobody's going to show. Did we build a relationship? Look, how about when he answered the phone, he's like, hey, hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Andy. How can I help you? I'm calling about the Ford Fusion. Beautiful. We've got a lot of vehicles in stock. While I'm looking that up, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Okay. My name is Tom. Tom, it's phenomenal meeting you. Look, do me a favor. I'm rebooting my computer. It's going to take me about 30 seconds while I get you all the information on the vehicle you called about. Where are you calling from today? You know what I mean? Look, the cell can't be closed until it's open. You wonder why your sales teams aren't winning? It's because of this. Let's make another call. All right, guys. Yeah, I was going to check the availability of a vehicle. All right, what do we do there? Um, I'm looking at a 2019 Mitsubishi Outlander. Listen, what's my name? How's your day? Nothing. What? These are your people. Just watch. Yes, sir. Yep, you got it. When would you like to come take a look at it? Uh, yeah, um, so number one, um, I saw that the price on it is eighteen nine nine five. is that right? Okay, cool. Um, what's your best price? Okay, so you can't get me a better deal at all? Okay, I appreciate it, man. Well, right, I'll get back with you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Did you just see that? Now listen, let me ask you this. Did that salesperson have a rapport with me? Did he even have my name? No. Well, let me ask you this. When you tell somebody you're not going to miss their business over a couple hundred dollars and that's your best price, do you need to have a relationship to do that? Can I ask you a question? Are your salespeople and your internet department and your people answering your phone, do they work at McDonald's? Do they work at McDonald's? Can I take your order? How can I help you? Or are your people's job actually to make connections with the customers who call? Make the decision. Look, I'm going to tell you this, right? Those that are ready to win, those that are going to be the best in the world right now, will make relationships on the phone. I'll explain how they'll do it. Number one, hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Andy. How can I help you today? You're going to tell me what you need. I'm going to say, hey, thank you so much for calling. By the way, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? We're going to get their name. He didn't get my name. I'm about to make another call. I'm going to call two people back to back right after this. You're not going to believe what they're going to say. I promise you. You're going to be blown away. Now watch. Once I call, once I call and they get their name and they're like, hey, I hope you have a wonderful day. You say, hey, give me about 30 seconds. I'm rebooting my computer. I'm going to give you all the information on the vehicle you inquired about. Why, by the way, where are you calling from today? 
Dude, start building some relationship with me and start building some rapport with me. This guy didn't do anything. And then you know what happened? It was really simple. What happened? He said, that's my best price. I just asked him, hey, what's your best price? He said, that's my best price. And I said, so you're saying I can't get a better deal? And he's like, no, that's our best deal. And I said, okay. And he's like, I won't miss you over a couple hundred dollars. But if you think I got thousands to mark it up, I don't. Let me ask you a question. Is it just a question that someone can ask? Yeah, people ask all the time, can I get a better deal? What do salespeople say? Salespeople always say, we don't put our second best price up front, we put our first best price. We're an internet-based price store, so the price you see is the price you pay, you don't have to haggle with us. Well, are you saying I can't get a better deal? And at that point, they say, well, that is my best price, or we won't miss your business over a couple hundred dollars, or it motivates my manager to have you here, and if he knows you're serious about the car, he'll work for a better deal while you're here. You know, if there was a better way to do it, would you wanna know? There's five different ways to handle price objections to ensure that you get every single customer in every time. Let's make two more calls. You're gonna be blown away by, by what these people say. Yeah, I was gonna check the availability of a vehicle. I can certainly help you with that. What vehicle is it? It's gonna be a 2019 Chevy Colorado. Okay. A gray one? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Check on it, make sure it's still available. What's a good number for you in case we get disconnected? Um, I'm on my wife's phone right now, so I'm about to have my phone back. Can you can you just check on the stock number? 212-3768? Yeah. yeah, that one is still available. Did you have a time in mind you want to get together here at the dealership? Um, okay. um one second, one second. Okay guys, listen, time out. Did this guy ask me my name? No. Hey, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name's Andy, how can I help you today? What do you, what do you, what do you look for? The guys, I told him what I wanted, and he said, okay, hey, do you have the stock number? He's talking to me like I'm, I'm an employee there, okay? Think about it. Do we talk to our people like they're our customers and we're serving them at the highest level and giving them world-class customer service? Or how do we speak to them? And then the guy's like, hey, what's the best number I can call you back at? I like that trick. But notice, when I told my mom my wife's phone, he's like, well, any number of work, hers or yours, it doesn't matter, just in case we get disconnected. He stopped. But let's just say, I'm not training on that here. When I was done, I gave him the stock number and he immediately said, oh yeah, I got it. What time can you make it in? He didn't even tell me how it was the nicest one in the country or anything like that, okay? Dude, are we salespeople? Watch, I'm gonna ask him what his best price is. Okay, cool, sorry about that. I was talking to my wife. Okay, so you have the truck, awesome. And I see it's online for $32,887. What's gonna be your best price? Um, what, what is your best price? Okay, so yeah, I'm, I've never paid what somebody was asking before, so could you find out what, what your best price would be real quick for me while I put it on hold? Uh, yes, like I said, it's online. Price is the, is the price that's, I mean. You're gonna lose all your business. Tell people your online price is it, stick it or leave it. I promise you, there's a better way. So you're saying there's not a better deal? Now it's $500 better. No wonder people don't trust salesmen. Okay, cool. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to look around just a little bit, and I appreciate you. Yeah, I've got other ones too. I've got one out there with less miles. Listen, I didn't say I wanted to look at another one. Do you feel me? You see what I'm saying, guys? This is why salespeople have such a horrible job right now, because they've never had any training. Never. He's just talking out his ass, okay? This is your team, this is teams up there. Okay, awesome, no, I'm really interested in this truck. I didn't even say I was interested in anything else. I just, I'm gonna think on this one and then I'll get back with you. Okay. All right, bye. Never got my name, not one damn time. Look, I'm gonna tell you this. Some of you think I'm being a little hard. I'm not, I'm actually moving fast, okay? This guy picked up the phone, didn't get my name. I asked him for the best price. He went in and started talking about hard ads. Do you think your customers know what hard ads are? Sir, I don't have any of those hard ads and this and that and this. Do you think they understand your language? No, they don't. So why are we talking to them that way? Because you haven't been trained. But look, we're gonna make another call. If you wanna train your sales team, 
shoot me a text, 918-210-0254. If you're a GM, you're a dealer, you're an owner, look dude, your sales team sounds like this, I can assure you, go back, listen to their calls. This is you, you're a sales pro. You wanna be the best? and your dealer doesn't give you training, reach out to me, I'll help you with it. 918-210-0254, we're in the air of the worst salesman in the history of time. Let me show you how to be the best in the world. We're gonna make one more call, stick with me. Yeah, buddy, I was gonna check the availability of a vehicle. Ooh, sounds like I got a veteran. I like it. See what happens. Hey, by the way, hey, uh, my name's Vince. Who am I speaking with? Uh, yes. I used one. Um, yeah, I do. It's GH172639. Yep. Now listen, he hasn't asked me my name, and that just bothers me. Yes. Okay. Listen to me. Are we order takers? Are we information givers? Or are we doing our job? Our job is to make a connection. He's already asking for the appointment. Um, well, okay, so, so you do still have it available, is that right? Okay, awesome. Um, and what is your best price? Okay, so are you saying you can't give me a better deal on it? Watch, I'm gonna hit him with another one. Watch this. I'm gonna double up this guy. Okay, yeah, so, and, and another deal, I think the miles are a little bit too high. Okay, well, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. No Thank you. All right, bye -bye. Guys, I'm telling you, if I freaking see this, this, this right here, this is why it's so easy to be great right now. It's so easy. Go back and slow down. Go into the beginning of the call. This guy said his name was Vince. He said his name is Vince. Okay? He said, how can I help you? This is Vince. I said, hey, Vince, I was checking the availability of the vehicle. He should have said, awesome. May I ask who I have the pleasure of speaking with? No. All he said is, do you have a stock number? Boom. I give it to him. He's like, looks like no deals are working on it. What time can you make it? That fast. You guys are wanting free money? This is embarrassing. I sit here every day and I call 20, 30 dealers. We train 200,000 salespeople at this time. My guys don't sound this way. This right here, this is embarrassing. This is why it's never been easier to be great, but you gotta train. Remember, he, shoot me a text, hit me up. This is what your sales team sounds like. Reach out to me, 918-210-0254. If you're a sales pro, you wanna know what to say? A lot of times people are reluctant to say something because they don't know what to say. Let me teach you how to close every single deal in the world and be like Alcatraz. No one escapes, guys. All right, guys, so what I did is I just took a couple minutes, called a couple dealers, right? And you can tell people are really frantic on the phone. They don't have great dad attitudes. They don't have good energy. And guess what? When someone is asking, like, what's your best price? The miles are too high. You know, I'm a little bit too far away from you or anything along those lines. People get very defensive. Think about it. How are we making it on our customers? Are we making a better buying experience or a horrible buying experience? No wonder so many people hate automotive sales pros. People aren't training. Sales pros, reach out to me, 918-210-0254. Look, my last year selling cars, I made 716 grand. How? It was too easy. No one out there is doing the training. Our people that are training are crushing and killing the competition. If you have a dealer, reach out to me. I'll train your team overnight. Have a great day, 918-210-0254. See you in the next video.